Hello and welcome back to the channel, Parupiro here. So Ragnarok Monster World or Ragmon official launch is finally here, launching on more than 150 countries globally. Personally, I am very excited about this game as Ragnarok Online is a big part of my childhood and I'm sure this is true for many other Filipinos. So Ragmon is a new game in the Ronin ecosystem. Uh, its gameplay is similar to Clash Royale. To be honest, this is my first time playing this type of game, but I will do my best to give a new player guard to help you start conquering the field. So without further ado. So our first beginner tip is knowing about the two golem types. So Ragmon is a tower defense game and the objective is to slay the king tower, the one in the middle where our tamer stands. So we have two other golems that defend our tamer and each functions differently. First, the blue golem is Billy, has more HP and does splash damage when it attacks. So when pushing this tower, it's best to use single units like Grizzly and Goblin Axe. On the other side is the brown golem. It is range, has lower HP, but does higher single target damage. So against this type of tower, you'd actually like to send some swarm units like Baby Desert Wolf and Savage Bebe. Here we can see a side-by-side -side comparison of how the Baby Desert Wolf fares against both golem types. We can see that the Billy Tower has an easier time disposing of them while the Range Tower actually gets destroyed by the Baby Desert Wolves. Number 2 is Soul or Energy Counting. So similar to Axie, paying attention to your enemy's soul count is essential in basic strategy. Both players start the game with 8 soul and gain 1 soul roughly every 2.4 seconds. It's essential to keep track how many energy your opponent has and how many energy he uses so you can adapt your strategy accordingly. Our third tip is to temper your reactions. So it is important not to overreact your opponent's pushes. The ideal is to use the least amount of soul or ragmons in defending while mounting an attack on the opposite side of the map. In this matchup, our high level opponent used up all their souls early aiming for a blitz. However, we can counter with a well timed baffle to stun all their units and then place a Deviru tree to do AoE damage and we can clean it up starting our own counter push. Our opponent will struggle to defend having exhausted all of his energy in the initial push. So we can express our advantage some more maximizing our efficiency with single unit comps against the AoE blue golem. With this, we can see that even though we spent roughly the same amount of souls, uh, we have damaged their towers more, even though their units are also higher leveled compared to us. Moving forward, our fourth tip would be to use your health as a resource. So the objective of the game is to slay the king tower or the most towers when the time is up. Therefore, no matter how low HP our tower gets, as long as they're alive, it's okay. So use their remaining HP as a valuable resource while keeping them alive. In this battle, we can see that our opponent played the Savage Bebe against our melee tower. However, based on our first tip, we know that our melee tower does well against Savage Bebe. So we can actually use our health here as a resource and just ignore the Savage Bebe. So we can save up our souls and prepare for a big counter push. Our last tip for this video is baiting. Once a ragman selects a target, it will continue to attack it until the target dies and then it ultimately selects a different target. Use this concept to bait enemy powerful ragmons into attacking your weaker mons while having your stronger monsters finish them. One good use case is baiting a Nidhogg with a level 1 mon such as a pouring and then dropping a disguise or a ranged unit to attack the Nidhogg while it's preoccupied. Here in this example, we can see that our level 5 Holden is barely able to kill the opponent Nidhogg with some proper baiting. And there we go, these are my basic tips to jumpstart your Ragmon journey. If these are able to help you, do consider dropping a like and subscribing to our channel. And if you have any other tips you'd like to share, do drop them in the comment section below.